everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. Today I have a little haul for you guys. It's a little bit of a random haul. We have some makeup and skincare items, but we also have like a book and a clothing piece and a random thing from eBay. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I think I'm going to go ahead and start with this box down here. Now I ordered this stuff a little while back from Ricky's. I just did my Ricky's unboxing yesterday, but this is just random stuff I ordered from the website. Now this isn't PR or anything, I just ordered this on my own because it was on like crazy sale. And if you offer something to me like 90% off, I'm gonna buy it. Like it doesn't matter what it is, I do not have the willpower to turn down a 90% off sale. I'm not sure if this is actually 90% off, but it was like crazy, crazy cheap. So um, there's a lot of things from OCC on there, and I've never tried a single product, I don't think. But they had these big, like, blushy type things that I didn't even know what they were. I just bought them because they were crazy, crazy cheap. So I got several of them. I'm going to be reserving some of these for a giveaway. So these are called cream color concentrates and you can use them on your eyes, your cheeks, and your lips. So I thought they were kind of fun. I got the shade Newt. Trick, Miriam, and Discipline. So I figured I could try some of these out and then I bought like doubles of some of them to give away to you guys. This one looks like a really beautiful color, this one here in the shade Trick. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and give it a little test because I honestly don't really know what to expect. Ooh. Maybe that's why they were on sale. Alrighty, so my pan just popped out. Nothing a little uh, double-sided tape or some glue can't fix. But this is like a creamy type formula. And there it is swatched on the skin. It is super, super pigmented. And I think it would make a beautiful lip color. It is a little bit greasy. So I'm hoping it will dry down if I wanted to use it on the eye. And there where I blended it out, it almost looks like you could use this as a bronzer as well. So I think these are pretty fun. And uh, yeah, I think I got them for like a dollar or something. So I'm going to set a lot of these decide to be included in a future giveaway. And there's still a whole lot of stuff in this box. So let's go ahead and see what's next. These are also from OCC. These are just little like pots of loose pigment. So I got several different colors. This one is in the shade Authentic. And then I got Smote and Smote again <laughs> and Distortion. And then finally Authentic again. So a couple of these will also be giveaway items. But let me go ahead and open up one of them that I'm going to be keeping. Ooh. That is super duper pretty. So this is in the shade Authentic and it is shining like a new penny. That is so pretty. I think that would look absolutely gorgeous on the eye. Actually, this color here with this, if you could do an eye look together with it, I think it would be really, really pretty. Alrighty, these are definitely gonna be fun to play with. And of course, I will be including some of them in a giveaway. Alrighty, next up in this box of goodies, we have two liquid lips here from Colored Rain. I bought many things in multiples because they were just so very cheap that I was like, I have to get some for you guys too. These are both in the shade Vanity Rain. And I think this was the only color that they had on sale. And it was just so inexpensive that I had to get it. So it's like a very, very intense red color. But I figure with like the holidays coming up and Christmas and New Year's and that kind of stuff, you could always use like a really pretty red. So I'm hoping the formula on these is very nice. Alrighty, next up we have some stuff in here from NYX. So we have a Butter Gloss in the shade, in the shade, in the shade, tiramisu. Then we have a liquid suede in the shade LSCL. Is that the shade name? I really don't know. I guess it is. And uh, this one here, I was not expecting it to be this color at all. This is in the shade cherry cheesecake, but it literally looks like bright orange in the tube. So this one should be very interesting. And then we have another liquid suede in the shade. No. You guys, I'm an absolute genius. I was like, this one's also in the shade LSCL. No, no, it's not. That stands for Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade 07. There is no name, it's just a number. So this one is in the shade 02, not LSCL. And then finally, out of the NYX stuff here, we have a little eyeshadow, and this is in the shade 10. I thought this just looked like 
super super shimmery and pretty. Alrighty, last two things in the box. We have two lipsticks from Gerard Cosmetics and these are both in the shade Very Smoothie. These were originally $19 but I got them for quite a bit less so I got one for me and then I got one for you guys as well. Now my very very first video on YouTube was about Gerard Cosmetics. It was an honest review of Gerard Cosmetics because I was a little bit mad at them for the lipsticks that I ordered. But these were just so darn cheap that I had to get them. Plus I thought the color was actually really pretty so let me give you guys a little swatch here and there it is swatched on my hand it is a very pretty color and I think it went on pretty creamy and smooth so I'm excited about these alrighty guys let's go ahead and move on to a non makeup item but it is very appropriate for my channel you guys remember when I got my squirrel pillowcase that I was super excited about well I also got another pillowcase thought this was great for the season and my everyday life. It is a skull pillow and it says, I covet your skull. And I thought it was really, really cute and very appropriate for moi. Also, speaking of skulls, I have another non-makeup item. I was at TJ Maxx yesterday and I saw this coffee. And first of all, I love hazelnut coffee. I think it's fantastic. But this is Mexican hazelnut coffee. It literally smells like a dream. It smells so good. But also on the packaging, there were sugar skulls like all the way down the side and we have like just the cutest little packaging ever. So uh, I had to buy it. Plus it was only $5.99, which I really don't think is bad for like a good amount of coffee. And I had a gift card, so it was just even better. I also picked up a pair of black jeans when I was there. I am a strong advocate of not wearing jeans. I am not a fan whatsoever, but these are like jeggings, so they, you know, pass the test. They stretch like this much. So I don't really think they count as like jean jeans, but they are a little bit more like formal than my black leggings. So sometimes I have to do like events at work that require just like a little extra like class other than leggings and sweatshirts. So when that happens, I'm gonna wear my black jeans and like a sweater. So <laughs> it'll still be like my typical everyday outfit, but just like a little bit nicer. Just ever so slightly nicer. Alrighty, next up I'm gonna go into some stuff I got from Octoly and this stuff I am very excited about and I can't believe I have it because a lot of it is much pricier items than I would ever like purchase on my own. Alrighty, so first up we have a Dior Addict Lacquer Stick and this is in the shade Underground and I gotta show you guys this packaging. It's so, so pretty. So this is what the packaging looks like. It comes in this like dark, deep, purpley tube with a little like nub here on the end that you pull out and then it says Dior on it. Now I have never owned anything Dior in my life so this is incredibly exciting to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on because the color really really looks beautiful. Alrighty, let's go ahead and test this out. Oh, it's already really pretty. Oh dear. Alrighty guys, here is the lipstick on and I have to say I really really like it. This is like the perfect everyday color. It's like a My Lips But Better shade for sure. It's very very comfortable. I can tell that it really wouldn't be long lasting or anything because it is like a creamier, shinier formula, but it is very, very pigmented and I like it a lot. And I really don't have anything against like luxury products. The only issue is the price. I just don't know if I'll be able to like keep repurchasing these types of products, but I really, really like this. So if this is something I end up wearing like all the time and then I run out of, I might have to go ahead and splurge. I think if you find something that you like truly, truly love that is at a luxury price point, I don't really see the issue in like buying that for yourself every now and then if you can afford it because you know, if you love it and it makes you feel better, why not? Alrighty, next up, speaking of luxury, I have something else from Dior here, and this is the Capture Total Dream Skin Advanced. This is a global age-defying skincare perfect skin creator. So this is supposed to give you perfect skin. I have not tried this out yet. I'm just gonna now get it out of the plastic. I really, really wanted to get this because I wanna do a video where I try out only like expensive luxury skincare for like a week or longer just to see how well it actually works. I think it would be a great contrast to my current skincare routine, which is like scrub my face with whatever cleanser I can find in my vicinity and then put on some moisturizer and then I'm done. So I really would like to do a video where I test out like just very expensive skincare that I've been collecting up from like samples and things from Octoly and see if it really does make a difference in my skin. Ooh, you guys, this is a very, very pretty bottle. It's like a 
pearlescent pink and it has Dior on the cap. It comes with a very nice little pump. So let's go ahead and get out the product. Oh, it actually has a tint to it. I wasn't expecting that. It's kind of like a tannish color. It has a very, very light scent, nothing too crazy overpowering. It does feel very nice and soft and smooth on the skin. It says it's supposed to like plump up your face and replenish it. So yeah, I'm definitely excited to test that out and hopefully it does what it says and like plumps up my face and gives me baby smooth skin. This is one of my favorite mugs of all time, by the way. It's a little squirrel mug shot and on it, it says wanted in five neighborhoods on 17 counts of larceny, suspect at large with three pounds stash of bird seed in his cheeks. Estimated street value $1.37. <laughs> Alrighty, next up I actually have two envelopes here. So let's go ahead and get into those and see what's inside. Okay, cool. We have another package here from Max Aroma. They are the ones that have these little like travel size atomizers that you can just throw in your purse and that kind of stuff. And these things have perfume inside of them. So this time it looks like we have Marc Jacobs Divine Decadence, which smells, smells amazing. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> It smells really good. And then we have Parfums de Marley Godolphin. And then we have Mancera Roses Greedy. Um, so I'm very excited to test out all of these. All right, next up I have something that's a little bit different for one of my hauls. I have this book. I just got this in the mail. And this is the Road to Jonestown, Jim Jones People's Temple. And if you guys aren't familiar with what I'm gonna be writing for my thesis, it's about this exact person and event right here. So hopefully this book will help me out with my research. Alrighty, let's go ahead and open up this envelope right here. This is something I got from Amazon and I think it's just... <laughs> oh! Yeah, it's just these little like doe foot applicators which I'm going to be using when I do like try-ons and stuff or like uh, kiss me subscription unboxings. So I can use these little guys which are disposable and then I won't have to like contaminate the container of like product. So that way I can pass them on to somebody else or give them away or donate them without like having my lip germs inside of them. So these things I hope will come in handy. Alrighty, next up we have something from Becca. And if you guys saw my last big unboxing, you all know that I was flipping out because I got something from Becca. Um, I had never had anything like full size from them before that last unboxing. And now I have a foundation and I'm very, very excited about it. So this is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream in the shade Shell, and uh, I hope I got a correct shade. I seem to be pretty bad at determining my shade via the internet. I feel like I always pick a shade that's way too dark for me. I guess it's like my dreaming and wishing that I was a little bit more tan. Alrighty, so this does come with a pump on it, and I just squeezed some out onto the back of my hand, and it is thick. Can you guys see that? It's like holding up on its own. It also seems to be Ooh, maybe it's even a little too light for me this time. I don't know, but wow, that's some pretty good pigment in there. It seems to be covering quite fantastically. I might have gotten just a little bit too much out of the uh, squeezy tube. Alrighty guys, that one pump covered the entire back of my hand and now it looks like oddly smooth. This is what it looks like without any foundation. This looks like a strange like mannequin hand. But I'm very excited to give this foundation a go. It is supposed to be lightweight, oil-free and create a second skin effect effect of undetectable flexible coverage with a natural long wearing finish. So I'm very excited to try that out. That sounds fantastic. Alrighty guys, so next up, and I think potentially last up, unless I'm forgetting something, is from Givenchy, which, wow, I have never had anything from Givenchy for, that is 100% sure, but this is the Powder Bon Mine. Or if you're reading the English version, which I should be because I do not speak French, I'm guessing, this is a healthy glow powder and it's supposed to give you long lasting radiance and it's supposed to be totally weightless. This is in the shade 02. So here it is in its shiny pretty packaging with the little logo on top. One thing that I can say right off the bat, it's very lightweight. I was expecting a little bit more heft out of a very expensive product, but maybe it's absolutely just amazing on the inside. So it comes covered up with a nice mirror here. Ooh, the product itself is actually really interesting. It has a very cool like stamp into it. It looks different than I was expecting. I think I was expecting more of like a shiny like powdery texture, but this almost looks like clay pressed into a palette. Now just touching this, I can tell you guys it is crazy, crazy soft. Wow. And here it is swatched on the back of my hand. It went on very, very smooth and pigmented. If you can see there, it catches the light just a little bit, so it definitely would be 
nice and luminous. You could use this as a bronzer to give you a little bit of, you know, glow, or you could probably even use this as an eyeshadow. Now this has 10 grams of product and it is made in Italy, so I'm very excited to try this out. Um, I'm definitely going to be using this in an upcoming, like, get ready with me or something. I'm just very excited to have it. And I'm just absolutely blown away that Octoly has stuff like Givenchy and Dior and even Becca. Like, that's really, really amazing. If you're a creator and you have, I think, over... 1,000 subscribers, you are eligible to sign up for Octoly, and I absolutely urge you to do so. It is such an amazing platform, and uh, yeah, I highly, highly recommend it. This isn't a sponsored video or anything. Like, they didn't say, like, hey, say good things about us or something like that, but I definitely, definitely recommend it. I would not be able to afford this stuff whatsoever at all without Octoly. So uh, yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend it. Alrighty guys, that is everything I have for you all today. I hope you enjoyed this little haul. Sorry, it was a little bit random. We had some like, you know, skulls and squirrels thrown in there as always because I'm a weirdo. But I just really hope you guys had a fun time watching. So again, just thank you and I just hope you guys have an amazing day. Please go ahead and subscribe if you would not mind. It would really, really mean the world to me. Also, don't forget that we do have our monthly giveaway going on right now. I will link that down below for you guys if you want to head over to the giveaway video. All you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment on that video. Let me know that you would like to be entered and then you are entered. Alrighty guys, that's all I have for you all today. So I just hope you have a fantastic fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!